for a couple of years, um, I wanted to be the Whip Jesus in the Nightmare. For those of you who don't know what the Nightmare is, which probably a lot of people do because I mentioned it, um, the Nightmare is visual, kind of a visual representation of a lot of uh, realistic things that you don't want in your life. It's, um, you know, we have like, uh, it's, people say it's a haunted house, it's, but it's more than that. In October, our church uh, produces the Nightmare um, on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays in October. We've done it for 21 years. Um, this will be my, the next one will be my third or third one to be in but that's why we one reason why we joined the church um, we were visitors because my sister had been going to Guts for a while but after Nightmare when we went Nightmare 2009 was we didn't go anywhere else um, it's very impactful um, it's like Visually, uh, the choices you make, you realize, impact a lot of things in your life. And um, there's a car wreck room and a drug room and, you know, really dramatic things. I don't have most of those dramatic things in my life. But it goes to show and maybe five to 10,000 kids a year give their lives to Christ right after because they realize you know I'm gonna follow Christ and not not go down the wrong path I mean with the whipping room is one thing even though the rooms change it's always it's all there was always been a whipping room there's always been a crucifixion room and this is uh, usually you so show Jesus on the stump getting uh, whipped in the back um, because the Bible says that uh, Christ uh, received 39 lashes and by his blood we are healed. It was that, uh, it's a passion play type thing. You, 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 I'm, everybody's you know, passion play. I mean, Jesus getting whipped before, uh, before getting nailed to the cross. That's, um, that's what we do. We visually represent the whipping. Um, we don't use actual whips, but we use uh, ropes that are usually I think they're usually dipped in water or something, so they, they steam, but they don't, they don't tear up the skin, I think, or maybe, maybe they, they don't actually hit the person's back or something, they just hit next to them, or I don't know how it's done, but, um, so this will be the third year that I've wanted to do it, uh, 2014 I am going to be Jesus in the Whipping Room. A couple years ago, um, I mentioned to the um, casting director that I wanted to do it. I said, but I've got a little bit of pudge, you know, I'm kind of uh, in the middle. I wasn't totally comfortable being uh, without my shirt for eight hours straight, and I don't think he was comfortable putting me in that position. I mean, we don't know about Jesus' physique. Maybe he was kind of a pudgy guy, but... Uh, that could be a distraction for people if they say, oh look, those love handles. Uh, and we don't want there to be any kind of uh, distraction. So, mm. but this year is going to be different. I'm, it wasn't my motivation when I started, but I'm using it as a motivation now to be in workouts because I'm going to be in a place by October where being without my shirt for eight hours straight, it's going to be no big deal. Um, I'm going to um, go outside a lot in the summer and tan a little bit. Um, but it's also, workouts are trimming the fat and bulking the muscle. I, yeah, I, I stepped on the scales this week and there for maybe three or four weeks ago I was saying oh I've lost 10 to 15 pounds and I had but I've been gaining it back um, so since before I started to now I've lost about nine pounds total I think what I'm gaining back I'm gaining back muscle because it's looking better on my sides my my tummy's looking better 
and my chest is looking more filled out. My arms, I've got more muscle in my arms, my legs, wow. And I'm just like, it's good. But this is, okay, this, the, so that's the motivation that I've got now. Um, look good for that. There, I mean, it's not like the primary. But it's in my top ten now that I want to look good for, the, for being Jesus in the living room. Um, it originally, okay, like three years ago when I wanted to do it, um, my primary motivation was masochistic. I like the idea of getting beat. <coughs> but that's not my primary now. That's way down low. My primary is because it's changing a lot of lives just seeing something. And I know it with our society how it is with a lot of people just seeing something can change their life I mean and I'm not in a place where I can do a movie or something like that but I can do this this is something I can do to visually represent to visually change my other people's lives they can see me and they can be like whoa if Jesus can do that and it's not like I am Jesus but it's I'm acting that's the role I want that role but not for credit on myself. It's just because it's a role that huh, never had and would love to have. Uh, to these ends, also, um, in the middle of August, I'm going to stop shaving. Well, probably, probably towards the end of August, because a month and a half I should have enough of a growth. Because the Jesus. The beard that they put on, they usually put a weave on guys, or I think it's called a weave, where they, they put it in, but you have to have something to, uh, to stick to, so I'm going to have a month and a half growth, and um, 